Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyber Roses. In today's video, we will discuss about the product type. In Odoo, product type defines the nature and behavior of the product within your inventory and sales process. So there are different types of products such as uh, goods, services and compo. So let's dive into the sales module to manage with the product type. And in Odoo, we know that the product type is just revamped and set into three. That is goods, services and compo. Till previous versions of Odoo, we know that there were uh, the uh, storable products but uh, currently that is just renamed as goods and we don't have a consumable product in Odoo 80. So this goods is treated as a physical product that can be stored in the inventory and in this case if you want to track the inventory separately you just need to enable this field. So as you just enable this field here you can see that uh, we can just know the quantity of the product over here which means the number of items that are available in our warehouse will be visible over here. For the time being I don't want to uh, show that what is the number of quantity that is available in my warehouse. And in this case as you just enable this field here you can see that we will get a drop down menu to manage it by quantity or by unique serial number or load number so you would be able to find that we have uh, different products over here the other one is service product so service product can be the product such as uh, uh, yeah they are the intangible intangible products that are provided to the customers and they do not keep the inventory so for this case we can just consider the local delivery as the uh, service product so in this case we can say that this belongs to the service product and uh, it can be uh, consulting, training or courses or any other creation of repair or any other maintenance work and all. Or if you want to just manage with the transportation charge also, you can just consider the product uh, with the type of service. And the other product type that we have is the combo. Okay. And uh, the combo product is actually introduced by Odoo 17 and it still continues in Odoo 18 also. And we know in Odoo uh, 18, we can actually manage the selling of the combo products from the sales module. So combo products uh, are one of the powerful feature that allow you to um, yeah, bundle multiple products together and sell them as a single unit. So as you just move on to the product here, uh, you can see that uh, you can just remove this filter and you would be able to find the combo product. So I have just set a combo product which is office uh, combo. So this is the product type combo. So under this combo, uh, pro I mean as you just choose this as combo, you will get a field called combo choices. So these choices will allow you to choose one product among a selection of choices for the category. So if you want to create these combo choices, you can just move on to the uh, uh, I mean configuration and here we have the combo choices so here you can see we have created different combo choices so under this desk accessories again we have different types of desk such as desk organizer desk pad monitor stand and all so all these will be just uh, a bundle and we can just uh, choose it from there so combo products can be streamlined uh, uh, the order process by reducing the number of individual items that need to be processed at all now uh, let's move on to the orders in order to create a new order with all these things. Before that, I would like to show you that uh, uh, I have already discussed, um, like we can also manage the product based on uh, the load and uh, uh, serial number, right? So in this case, you can see we have just enabled the um, inventory and uh, we are just going to manage it based on the load. Likewise, we can just consider the other product and here we are just going to manage this product based on the unique serial number okay so let's move on to the orders and uh, under the quotation you can see you can just click on your button where you can just uh, fill out the details of the customer i would like to choose the customer as ready mat and you can just choose different products that is cable management box and let me choose the other product which is laptop and um, here we can just choose the other product such as mic and let's choose um, office uh, combo so as you just choose the combo you will be getting a wizard likewise and you can just choose the uh, particular or individual product from these choices and let's click on confirm so that uh, that products will be added under the combo so you can see we have added different items over here now let me also add a notebook over here 
so you can just add that okay fine so well we have set different products over here now uh, let's click on confirm and uh, as we just click on confirm here you can see currently it's um, moved into the sale order as we haven't delivered these item you can see that uh, that is uh, just uh, showing what uh, uh, yeah a red color uh, indication over here now we just need to deliver the item to deliver the item we have to check the availability uh, for the time being, let's imagine that we have the items over here. So I would like to set it as uh, uh, the quantities over here. Okay, let me set everything manually. And uh, let's save this and check the availability. So as we check the availability, the next step is that we just need to validate. Okay, so we can just validate the process. So let me click on validate. So when you just try to validate this process here, you can see that we have to supply the load tool serial number over here because we have set the tracking of the inventory based on lotto serial number so you can just enable this serial number field from here and here you can see that uh, uh, the number is given over here now uh, yeah let's try to validate this so corner desk writes it right so here we have to provide the number so let me move on uh, to this and here you can see uh, it it don't have any load number or serial number so we just need to create a load number or serial number so let's move on to here and let's create a, a load number so let me save this so once everything is saved you can just back uh, to the sale order that you were dealing with and uh, you can set the yeah uh, load number or serial number over here so let me choose that afterwards let's save this and click on validate Still, we have to provide the load number or serial number for the mic. And again, um, you can see that uh, you can just choose uh, the serial number for the mic. And let's save this. And now let's try to validate the process. And you can see, as we have just assigned the load number or serial number, we have just done uh, with the picking of the item from the warehouse. And we have just moved the item into the packing zone. And as we just move on to the next transfer here, you can see that now. From the packing zone, we just need to move the item into the warehouse output. For that, you can just click on validate button. Again, currently the item is just received at the warehouse output. And now we just need to deliver the item to the customer. So you can just click on validate button so that we can just deliver the item to the customer. And you can see that we have successfully delivered. And you can also find the move history over here. And it also shows the valuation and traceability. Now, uh, as you just move on to the inventory module, from there you can just get the reporting of all these and you can just move on to the move analysis. So, as you just move on to the move analysis, it shows the number of items which is moved and uh, uh, with, the, with the date, reference number, with the product, load and serial number that is used and from which warehouse and to where it has moved with the quantity and all other status can be reviewed from the reporting session of the move history. So that's how we just deal with the product types in Odoo 18 and that's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.